Our story begins in the sleepy historic market town of Milau in the Occitanie region of France and is famous for its rather splendiferous viaduct. Milau boasts a population of circa 22,000. There is a glove museum and according to limited research on Google, it's the epicenter of French paragliding. Sponsored by Bimoto. The plan is to kick off in Milau, wobble down through the mini Pyrenees, head up into the massive Pyrenees for some knee skids, then drop down to the coast road. This will take us all the way down to Cartagena, where we have three brutal days on track to abuse and torture these thoroughbred hounds. If we survive that, we just have to limp on to the finish lights of Benidorm for sex on the beach and a lamb jowl frazy. Ray shift, ray shift. Are you in ray shift as well? Yeah. You cheeky bastard. You cheeky little shit. I can't believe you've got fucking ray shift. Has it always been ray shift? Uh, no, I played it. Okay, now. You can do it as well. Not with these non adjustable standard rear sets, I can't. How's your uh, bump to peg ratio going? Oh, it's pretty horrendous. This is a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable. But, you know, I'm all about the track, mate. I'm all about the track. Well, I can tell. <laughs> it's just we've got another thousand kilometres to get there. Whereas I've, as you can probably see, I've added my uh, special little wind flap. So that helps for the taller people. I mean, you are your archetypal 55-year-old superbike rider, aren't you? Yeah. Absolutely butchering you. Not quite a nice bike to make it a tourer. Yeah, but you know why? Because they're intelligent people. I've got a seat, which is always good. Yeah, I'm quite jealous of that at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I've even got the 50-year-old private number plate down. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is I've, I'm, I'm not I'm like, yeah, having an argument about it. I've just done it so many times that these things make my life easier. And I get, yeah, you're going to be you know, all your modifications are going to make it, you know, half a second, if that, fast around a circuit, but... Why, why is that? You've got own suspension, mate. No, no, and I'm saying... And a quick shift doesn't no, work. I, 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 no, I'm saying your bike... You're so defensive. I'm saying your bike is going to be half a second faster around no, a track. No, that's what I'm saying. You, you said the mods will make it half a second faster. What? It, yeah. Like what, what, what? What, yours? Yeah. Well, the fact, you, the fact it's lighter, the fact it's... Anyway, I'm not... I'm, don't worry about it. It's so, so <laughs> fucking eggy. I was actually trying to sort of pay you a compliment there. I wasn't getting eggy if eggy Right, well, well, we'll let the viewers decide. Oh, a bit, nice bit of diesel, that. Are you insulting my bike? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound a bit diesel -y. It was smoking quite a bit when you started it up. It's got quite a bit of clutch rattle. I really would. I'm lusting over some heated grips right now. I yeah, should have done. maybe a... Maybe a vat. Yeah. You <laughs> thought that's your worst. <laughs> <laughs> what a grip from the S22s though, considering it's... As I say, it's... Uh, absolute shittery. They give you some confidence these times, I'll tell you that. And it's a while, it's, it's been a while I've ridden without tracking control and those aids. And I know you shouldn't really ride to activate traction control, you should ride according to the left the road condition but it's nice to know isn't it that you've got traction and Definitely. ABS and ABS particularly ABS particularly yeah. on the road like we, I know we moan about it a lot on circuit but it is a fantastic invention to save you they get it in gear oh, come mate come on mate fucking hell oh when you're ready mate just you know fucking what's he doing the <laughs> fucking okay so this is the first opportunity to get these bikes on a sort of motorway condition, which is basically what we're doing today. <laughs> For the next eight hours. For the next eight hours, so hopefully you're comfortable. Yay, sunshine! Yeah! Right, so now we're gonna go and find a bit of history about the Milau Bridge. Uh, I'm sure the heavy, hardcore motorcyclists among you uh, are keen to know. Um, 
some of the structural integrities that were that were placed upon such a building. There it is, it's actually quite I've been here before actually, it was quite a nice little uh, visitor centre. Uh, I think you can carry on driving up there, let's just go up. No. Oh you fucking dishwasher. Alright, oh, that's it. Alright, so should we just stop here in the middle of the road? I think there's uh What about the little hut? Can you see different from the little well, hut? Well that's our, that's what I'm going now. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. But I get the oh for fuck's sake. Well that's it. <laughs> what? Well we're just we're in a we're in a fucking wedgie. Oh god. I mean I don't think there's gonna be anywhere to turn around either, mate. There's a roundabout in there? Was it, it was a slip road, wasn't it? Oh god. Oh for fuck's sake. Shall we off-road it? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yay! Beat the system! <laughs> oh mate, I'm not going up there. No? No. You sure? Yeah, I don't want to get attract attention. Why not? <laughs> oh, because you've got a highly illegal motorcycle. <laughs> it's not highly illegal, we just don't want to, you know, take any risks. Bonjour. Hey. Bonjour. Ça va? Oui, ça va bien. Oui, oui, oui. Comment t'appelles-tu? Oui, chèque de voyage. Oui. And uh, où est le hall service? Yeah, we're just outside the, the hall, <laughs> the hall service. Uh, it's, out of, it's out of service. Yeah, uh, and um, mind you, it's quite slippery down here. So it's very slippery. Yeah. I think this is this is where they empty shit. By the way, just so you know, this, oh, is, is, actually, it? this is actually what it is. That, so that is shit. That is the shit. Yeah. Oh mate. Well, you wanted to go here. <laughs> you said you wanted to go to the hall service. I anyway, do. I want to. Anyway, let's buy the buy. So welcome to the Minar Bridge. Um, we've ridden around it trying to find somewhere nice to park up and. But, but you can't <laughs> but see you it. Can't see it. So we'll have to walk up that hill in a minute. Yeah. Uh, in all our bike clobber, um, because we've come all this way, it'd be rude not to go and look at it. Um, yeah, and speaking of long ways, we uh, we're about to set foot, set foot, set wheel, set wheels um, on the road to Cartagena is the uh, goal over the next two days. So we're going to do a little bit of the Pyrenees, uh, drop down uh, through Spain, and visit some. Lovely local places. Penis colas on the Penis map. Penis colas definitely on the map. I mean, if we can get there in time, because obviously yeah. my DRLs aren't legal at night, so um, no. you know we have to take into consideration that. So we probably won't ride past half or six. But yeah, Penis Cola is the ideal destination today, uh, and that's sort of six, seven hours. So uh, it's going to be a long stint in the saddle. Yeah, and um, it's not the best weather. No, um, but hopefully it should brighten up a little bit. Um, I feel sorry for you with that seat and the peg ratio. I feel sorry for myself, yeah. It's the it's, peg ratio. Yeah, you can the, see it. It's, it's horrendous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's horrendous. So, um, anyway, I've got a couple of new additions. Flappage. This was a uh, 15 to 18 pound Amazon Prime delivery. Uh, and a little backpack here with uh, a spare fuel reserve uh, and a fire extinguisher for when that catches fire. So, I'm ready to rock the touring dad mode <laughs> on my <laughs> mid noughties sports bike and um, yeah munch those chicken strips right should we go and look at this bridge then can we, can we come yeah, all let's this go, way let's, let's go get the bridge let's go have a little trundle up the hill i'll clear the shit off my foot a minute so you join us atop uh, in a lovely summer's day uh, as you can see, you can see for miles, and uh, the weather is so good here and it's so warm. Perfect uh, budget bike battle weather, really. Yeah, yeah. I love the way my hands just feel like they're going to fall off. My purple. Yeah. Literally purple. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway. There it is, there's the view. It's, uh, it's a bridge. I've got to say, if you ever get the chance to ride the roads around here, because we're not going to today, we don't have yeah. time. But the roads around here are, they call it the Mini, mini Pyrenees, isn't they? The Mini Pyrenees. And the roads yeah. around here are oh, the mini absolutely Alps. Mini, mini Alps. Pyrenees. No, Mini Pyrenees. Yeah. Uh, the roads around here are fantastic for bikes. I mean, you can go miles and miles and miles. Really sort of, they're not main roads either. They're nice, sort of quiet, yeah. really well coated surface roads as well. So make sure you come in here and have a go. The D41 something, that's really good. And just have a look at the map. The D41 something. Yeah, yeah. Top, top touring tips. Now, should we go look at some uh, facts for the Milad Ridge? Let's get factual. The factroid.
As you can see here, the, um, the wild orchid, the wild orchid even, grows in direct sunlight on limestone or gnarly grass between altitudes of 500 and 900 meters. It can be distinguished by its vividly colorful flowers and its lip looks like an insect so as to stimulate pollination. Sexy. En français, oui. Oui. Parlez-vous oui. français? Oui. Parlez-vous français? A uh, uh, grande wang. I never thought I'd say let's go and get on the bikes, but let's go and do it. Fucking, that floor is so slippery. It's, uh, it's literally shit, isn't it? Literally shit. Homemade shit in a van. <laughs> dumped on the side of the street. Actually, you should be careful with that, with the tyres. What was the cause of the accident? Oh, I rode right through some human shit. I high-sided on some poo. <laughs> yeah. Did you coat your bike in WD-40 before you left? I did. Because there's still salt on the roads. Just um, keep an eye on the old tail pack if it starts looking a bit dodge. Yeah, likewise, you might need to drop, drop back and look at my uh, stick. You mean my, <laughs> you mean my dad's walking stick? Yeah. Which I just gave you because yeah. you've got no way of pushing your putting your bike up, right? Yeah. So uh, gonna go over the Milau Bridge now. Oh, the sun's shining as well. Look. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a beautiful for us. moment. It is a, a, an incredible feat of engineering. It is. Really, isn't like it? my bike, really. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. And there it is, Fort Fox. There it is. Yeah. you've got a super bright tail light to uh, guide the way. Have you got your DRLs on, buddy? That's right. Only 800 kilometers to go. To be fair, it looks pretty cool. The sun's shining, my baby. The sun is shining, little camera break. And it's looking pretty. Bloody sexy! Sexy! Ready? Three, two, one! So, uh, just for the benefit of the viewers... Oh, you're gonna skip lanes, are you? Um, one of Al's DRLs fell off. Thanks. I have to do a bit of re rejigging on that one, I think. Rethink it. Oh well. Right, we're just uh, pulling in for petrol because the Suzuki is gagging for it. You're right there, buddy. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a difficult gauge, this one, because I don't, I don't think I've brimmed it, so... Um, and how right, many miles okay. have we done? 70? Uh, about... 80... Okay, so that's alright. 5? Well, what's wrong with your foot peg? Uh, I don't know. You're doing a bit of a... Uh, having a bit of a wobbler? I don't know, I, I just... it just feels a bit weird. I don't know, I need to do a little... little recce. Oh, these little brakes checky. feel just so horrible. <laughs> Move back a bit. Back? Yeah. Why? So I can lean it up against the uh, pole there. Oh, for God's sake. Oh look, my fuel light's literally just come on. Well, that's good timing. Alright, okay, lean it up. Right, what? Lean it, go back so I can lean oh, my bike against... Sorry, I haven't got a side step, No, I have haven't, you? no, no. <laughs> well done. Alright, chill out, <laughs> Captain Egg. I've, I've lent you my dad's walking stick, it should be alright. Use the walking stick. <coughs> Well, I'm having a lovely time. <laughs> oh, it's fine, a peg. 
Yeah? It feels a bit weird. It's probably the swing arm, mate. <laughs> <laughs> BK. Oh, another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> I, actually, I can feel it sitting on my heart. All right, let's go find some roads, buddy. Yeah, well, we've got a bit of a squirt first. We? Yeah. So we've got an hour left of the monotony. Which but then is we just sort of looked at the map and went, that looks like a nice road. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And as crosses, normal. Yeah, and we actually crossed the border between France and Spain on that road, I believe. Uh, yes. After hours of motorway monotony and consequent pile-battering saddle time, we were tantalisingly close to civilization and slightly sexier roads. Oh, finally, mate. Finally off that motorway. It was getting pretty monotonous and... Uh, My legs were getting pretty um, <laughs> horrendous. I did see you do the old uh, dangler, yeah. Timmy Dangle. Whereas uh, I was actually pretty comfortable, I've got to say. Oh, but, it's pretty hot now. I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm overgeared. <laughs> My uh, full-on adventure RST muffin has uh, cooked me. Well, I mean, you know, it's times like this where I'm hoping in about half an hour we'll, we'll want these sliders. Yeah. Because the roads are going to be that good. Get some tree bark and gaffer tape into our legs. But yeah, this uh, should be exciting. So we're on the D115 and we are heading up past the International Boo competition which is just being performed to my right at what? Um, and this is what we came for and the Pyrenees every year surprises me more and more Right, uh, right, right <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, I used to be an Alpine dogger <laughs> Yeah, and um, now the, the, the Pyrenees is just slightly less busy, particularly in February. <laughs> but this is a balmy day, it's, it's probably about 15 degrees and it's, it's glorious. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. I love these tree-lined boulevards. Beautiful. Only in France, isn't it? So nice. And they're all well looked after, these trees. The snow on the mountains. Mm. Good Does snow it remind you of uh, Austria? No, not at all. No. <laughs> I can smell the knee down. I can smell it. You can smell yeah. it. How's your bike feeling? Pretty yeah. eager, I've got to say. I've got to say as well, uh, your little tail pack um, it makes it look like an S-Rad. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm going for, the look. The S-Rad look. Ooh, what's that? Le Bon. Very pretty. I'm really glad we do these sort of little uh, sejours. The shorts, the 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 the, the sort of wreckies away from the motorways and main roads, just to take in a bit of local culture. Yeah, yeah. You you you, you can fly through somewhere on a motorway and not understand it in, in any way. No. Yeah, you've got to come and have a look at the milfs in the cafe. Wait, see, he's got his bike out. What's that? Is that Team Yamaha. Team Yamaha. He knows. Oh, hello. Oh, you, you, your whippage was right. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, gosh. Oh, mate. <laughs> I have very little confidence in these brakes. I wish you'd let me change the disc. I think you'll Oh, don't. Unfair. You don't start. Sorry, Mr. Brembo, Siriori, slash Costa Corte, Master Cylinder. I wish you'd let me change my shock. You can, you can change it if you want. You do. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I saw that last minute. There's so many uh, staggeringly beautiful places that you, you just kind of, you admit, I don't know, it's so difficult to see them all, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I know this isn't, I mean, it's nice, it's not like... I mean, that bridge gives me a boner. Yeah. Just to remind everyone, this is February. Right, it feels like, I mean, I, I don't know how hot you are, but it feels like summer to me. I'm warm, mate. I mean, I, I know I've got proper RST Adventure gear on, but I've got just a t-shirt and no underlayer at all. And I'm cosy. 
and cosy. But then again, it's 15 degrees, so. And we are going about six miles per hour. But even so, it's, you know, it's not quite right, is it? No. And I'm sure we'll say well, that every year. You, there's, a the palm, there's a palm tree there. Oh, that's all right. Then. Oh, yeah. Should we uh, do it? Yeah. Full charge. Yeah. He's holding his bike up because he doesn't have a side stand. Of course, Alistair's selfish decision to travel without a side stand meant that I had to hold his weapon while he guzzled. I was not amused. I'm so hot. So hot. I'm gonna open some of these fucking whiz bang flappage flapples. Even the bike's hot. It's February. It's bloody February. Uh, uh, uh. Titans. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh yeah, the road surface is delicieux. Delicieux, monsieur. Oh man. And the thing is, we're not far away from home, and it's February, and you can do this type of riding on superbikes. That cost you two and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. I mean, granted, there's not a lot of heat. Oh god. It is very nice. The last nine months of work on these bikes had finally paid off. This is what we came here for. Endless twisties, the sun beating off our helmets, and buttery smooth asphalt for days. Snaking our way along these mountain roads, it's easy to forget our machines cost as little as two and a half grand. <coughs> they felt brand new, lithe, agile, and completely in tune with their beautiful surroundings. Nothing can spoil this now. It's just perfection. What a lovely day it turned out to be. I mean, this morning it was like torrential rain, two degrees, and now it's 19.5. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely roasting yeah. in full on adventure gear, so I'm going to have to open all my flappers. Nice. But then you get to see like awesome little water features. Yeah, down the garden set. And roads, I mean, these roads, they're, you know, they're not amazing, but it's just nice to get, as like I said before, just nice to get away off the motorways and just explore yeah. and. Yeah, in yeah. The blue sky, I mean, yeah. look at that. Blue. Apart from that cloud. So, uh,. Let's have a bit more uh, scratching. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Uh, find a hotel. We've got to find a hotel yeah. somewhere because it's quite late. And you haven't got any headlights. So we can't. Not DRLs. Well, they're going to help around here, aren't they? I'd love to ride around here with, <laughs> with, a, with a four candela LED. I've just got to make the point, actually. Um, my bike is actually legal. So I've. We, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. Um, yeah, my bike is actually legal. Uh, as long as it has DRLs. Then it's legal, apparently. To uh, a torch strapped to the side. Two two torches. Well, no, one fell off. Yeah, no, but I've got. That. Okay, but is it on there now? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as long as you've right. got a horn as well. Avanti. Well, guys, you join us on a never relenting mile after mile of this incredible scenery, incredible roadage and incredible budget bike battleage. And the incredible K6. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose it's alright. But it just honestly, it's mile after mile of just this, and it is so nice. And the road surface is decent. And this is February, and it's 20 degrees. Get out there and ride, boys and girls. It took us a day to get here. 
bit more. The point is, you can still have a wonderful holiday out here on your bike. Yeah. And I was just saying off camera, you don't need a superbike either. On it, like I think these roads would probably be better enjoyed on like a R9T or a sort of just a, a nice, a nice grown-up gentleman's motorcycle. Yeah, but like a characterful motorcycle. Because and, and just look at the just look at the scenery yeah. and the sights. Because the, yeah, there's the road you do get damp patches, so it's not like you can go full on on a superbike round here anyway without well risking way too much. And a lot of these corners you think, oh that's alright, and then they just tighten up like a bench. Like a bitch! But it's just mile after mile of smiles. And I've got to say, this suspect I know you hate the fact I've got an Olin's shock in here, but it is feeling really nice. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a steepy. There's walls on either side. So delicious. I'm actually quite glad I changed the gearing on this bike. I think standard would be it's too long. I'm still lacking a bit of torque on this. Oh, I don't know. The D115, the D115 makes me feel alive. alive. Cheers, love! Cheers, mate! And uh, just a shout out to the French for yeah. being so fucking good when there's motorcycles behind you. Uh, even if you don't want to pass. Oh, like, on. we've got a problem. What? Don't know. Oh, God. Okay, hang on, let me swing at you. What is it? Just dead? Oh, no. My brakes are locked on. Oh, no. My brakes are locked on. Rear? No, I think it's the front. Hang on, let's get, let's try and muscle it in here. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's how you're taught, isn't it? To turn round off road. Just as it was all going so bloody well. They look fucking cooked. Yeah. I looked down and there was smoke coming from the discs. I've actually got some tools in my handy little dad sack. Will a cable tie fix it? Will a WD-40 travel size fix it? Guess he's got the problem. <laughs> so we've got, if you come around here, Samuel. So, uh, this caliper, I believe, I think this caliper's just seized on. This disc has got super hot, you can see, um, and it's cooked inside and the system's just seized up and locked the brakes on so i reckon whip that caliper off whip it out spray a bit of brake cleaner in there clean it up as much as you can push the pots back in see what happens that's the original caliper that's the caliper that wasn't changed so yeah and maybe adjust that master cylinder but i think it's the caliper more than anything i know everything Now it's always handy when your cameraman brings a uh, manual toothbrush available for butchering because this is what I'm going to do to it now. Right, so change the ratio of the lever I'm not sure it's that uh, this way the uh, master cylinder and I cleaned out the caliper that wasn't the 41 that wasn't the crack one and yeah can the pistons are clean off I mean I'm not holding out too much but I think the, the lever feels so much better with that new ratio so I think it can only get better in the words of D-Ream 
can't listen to that song without thinking of Tony Blair. Rather gingerly, we set off hoping, or I was hoping, the K6 would survive the rest of the journey. Are they actually working? Brakes, yeah. Yeah. I'm just worry about you, you know. Oh, yes. I'm employing a bit of uh, road craft. Hey? Nothing. meters we're at. How do you know that? Because it said on the side of the road there. Oh. Sit rep, update report, the K6 brakes are working at the moment. Which is definitely what you need yeah. on top of a mountain pass. So where's the Shall we have a look down there? Have a little look down there. Just look at the views. Them views, isn't it? Still, this is quite a nice night, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love getting lost for you, mate. <laughs> oh, that's quite romantic. You saxo wanker. And uh, that's it, we made it to Spain. Good job, buddy. Are we actually in Spain yet? Yeah. This is it. We are in Spain. So, uh, yeah, down from the mountains now, heading towards a town called Vic. It's, it's pretty cold now actually, it's definitely got, the evenings are definitely getting chillier. Yeah, uh, and uh, of course, you know, I've only got deal rail, so uh, we have to pick somewhere fairly close now. Well, yeah, which is a bit annoying, because I just want to carry on. Speaking of day, the, your DRL, so let me see if I can get a shot of your hazard blink, blinking lights. It's intermittent, mate, it's like, uh, can you come to this side of me? It's not flashing at a consistent flash. It's just like a rat it's like Morse code. <laughs> it's like contacting China. Vic, here we go. Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes to Vic. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in Vic. I'm gonna go straight, I'm gonna brush straight into Vic and pull my pants down and urinate. It looks like it's such a shit town. The state of it. There'll uh, be more hall houses here, though. Well, you can't you can't carry on any further, can you? No. So. I just saw a sign in the centre. I just thought let's just go. Well, there. just don't don't fiddle with it, you know. Yeah. There's a system in place here. Yeah. And you fucked it. I just fucked it. You fucked it. It's an alternative route. Right. Yeah, I know. I've got the fucking yeah digital dickery going on. You're the fucking digital dickery. Pizza rear. Yeah, quite any, nice. anywhere here I could do. I could have a. I could have a. Uh, piss. Where are you just gonna find some like a restaurant? Well, I thought we were gonna have a bar, a beer. Oh yeah, okay. Not where's a kebab shop as well, mate. Is there? I'm just gonna stick it here. Stick it here, mate. Yeah. Right, well let's uh have a pizza, have a beer. Well done, mate. Well, well done, done, buddy. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. 
Don't forget, you can win these sexy stallions. Courtesy of our friends at Bimoto. All you need to do is head to their website and get a quote. It's free. It's easy. Mm. Sponsored by Bimoto.